we're just going to be using this to fill in our little island. Well, it's not an island, it's a peninsula that pops out right there, but we're just going to dip straight into the black. booger out of it. Now we want our little peninsula to come out about right there. And even if we didn't, there he is. I'm just going to bring this straight across here. Watch out for that black right there because that will run right down the side of your canvas and not look very nice. So just make sure it doesn't glob over there. And you want to make sure this is fairly level. I mean, it doesn't have to be perfect. It's just roughly. I'm just going to bring it out. Make sure you give yourself enough space to put your lighthouse on. Because if you make it too short, it doesn't come far enough out into the water, you're going to be putting your lighthouse way over here, and then he's not really going to be the focal point of the painting anymore. So. We're just going to bring this sloping down. There's going to be rocks there. That's why we're doing black right now is because in this wet black paint, we're going to go ahead and put some rocks in because it's easiest to do when that paint is still wet. All right, you might want to take a step back. Just look and see if it looks level. Now you can get, if you'd rather use a round brush for little round rocks, you can use that. Or if you want flatter, more jagged looking rocks, you can use the flat brush. It doesn't have to be this big. You can use a smaller flat brush too. I'm going to use the square one for now, and I'm going to get some fresh white paint. I'm just going to put on the same plate with the black. That way, if, if I end up needing some shading color, I've got it there. Now, this is all still wet, so we should be able to just go in and drop our rocks in right now while it's wet. And now... The rocks are going to come up right about, it's going to take up most of the little peninsula here because there's going to be grass right here and then our lighthouse is going to be right there. So we can just go in and start dropping some little rocks. Just put a little bit of white paint on your brush and just start tapping some shapes in. And it will mix with that black behind it. And it'll make little, look like little rocks. You can make some real big ones, some little ones. You can use the corner of the brush and just make little, little dots just to fill in some of the spaces. We're just putting some rocks in here. And go ahead and bring them right down to the, this is going to be the water right here. So go ahead and bring them right down to the water line. This lighthouse here is based on Crisp Point Lighthouse. And this is actually, this view of it is one that most people aren't familiar with. I've had a lot of people actually, I've done this painting a couple times in classes. And I've had people say, well, that's not Chris Point. Yes, yes it is. You're just not used to seeing it from this angle. But there's 
big old rocks down here. This is a really awkward angle for my hand to be doing this without getting in the way of the camera here. And don't worry too much about orderliness because rocks generally fall however they want to. We don't want it to look like brick because it's not brick. They are just big old rocks. And if you want to add some other colors in there too and have some brown rocks and you can do that. You know, red rocks, brown rocks. I'm going to go through at the corner of my brush and just dot some smaller rocks in here. Just bring it right down to the waterline too. Bring it right up. I want to fill this space. Now, if you're going through and you've put too many rocks in and now it's just a jumble and it doesn't look like rocks, let it dry for a little bit and then go through with some fresh paint and touch it up because you'll be able to finally you'll you'll be able to add some more rocks some more white in there without it all just blending into one color because that's what tends to happen when you start adding too much to it doing too much at once the paint starts to mix and just make mud and it doesn't look it doesn't look like rocks anymore it just looks like a big concrete slab so if you're noticing that starting to happen just stop <laughs> Let it dry. Another way to do it, if this black has dried and you started, you want to put your rocks on and it's already dried, all you need to do, you just take one side of your brush, I've got the round brush now, dip it in the white and the other side of your brush in the black or dark brown or whatever color you want these to be. And then you just make rocks like that. See how that works? It's just, you've got the light on top and the sh the shadow below. So just one side in white, one side in dark, and then just pop them on there with the shadowed side underneath. So anyway, we don't need those. We're going to just... All right, while we're waiting for that to dry, what we're going to do is put in our water lines just to make this look like we're settled right in the water there, right in Lake Superior. Again, you'll just need straight white for this, and I like to water it down too. And I need a new brush. You can use a liner brush or a detail brush if you'd like to for water lines. You know, as long as you've got a, a nice fine point, you can make some really nice lines. Or if you're all about getting it done quickly, you can use a little flat brush or chisel tip brush. Those work really well for doing nice straight, straight water lines. Now if you want the water to be all rough and wavy, you're better off with a detail brush, but we're just doing some calm waters here. So I'm gonna use my flat brush and I'm gonna water this white down a little bit. All right, let's put our water lines in. And now we're going to put a baseline right here. This is where we're gonna have the water sitting for right now. 
And you can put as many or as few water lines as you want. This is gonna be really difficult for me from this angle <laughs> without putting my head in the way. I'm getting straight lines. And you can bring them right up to the little peninsula there. And it's okay if you get a little bit of that, um, that dark color, that black mixed in a little bit. That's okay because you know there's going to be a little shadow in the water anyway right there from that being there. So that's quite all right. Work with it. Let it, let it work in your favor. One thing I try to do when I'm doing water, you can always run your finger over too as you're going just to help blend things. But when I'm doing water, I usually try to keep water lines closer together in the distance. That helps make it look like it's farther away. It gives the illusion of depth, of distance, the closer together those water lines are. That's good for our water lines. We're gonna get a piece of charcoal and we're gonna figure out where our lighthouse is gonna be. And if you want to get a ruler or something to help you get a straight edge, you can do that. Or if you've got one of these nice long handled paint brushes, they work fantastic as a straight edge. So go ahead and get set up for that. And I'll see you in the next video. Before you go, don't forget to like and subscribe so you don't miss out on any of my new classes.